three magnesiums to relax the muscle, get the water, hydroelectric system, put the kettle on, get the chamomile tea bag on, down, mild tranquilizer, make your tea while you're breathing deeply. Go outside, do some star jumps, can't jump, uh, rebounder, haven't got a rebounder, exercise bike, walk around the house three times, breathing very, very deeply. That's how you'll get over the peak of that panic attack. The whole body will be screaming at you. Your limbic system, your emotional brain will be screaming at you, panic! But you're going to ignore that. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy at all. The first time will be the hardest. And when she'd conquered her first panic attack, how did she feel? Like a mighty conqueror. And what that did was that gave her some confidence that she can do that because the first one is the hardest. And then as the days and weeks went by, what's happening here? She's her conquering panic attack pathway is getting bigger and she's not going down the panic attack pathway anymore. So what's happening to it? It's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. She's rewiring her brain. And then we're looking at three months later, she's conquered her panic attacks, she's implemented these laws, she's going to bed early, she's got an exercise program, she's feeling good, so she halves her medication. And then she quarters her medication and within a month she's off all her medication. And if a very stressful situation arises, she breathes deeply, takes her water, and she's able to do it. And so now her off the medication pathway, she rewired her brain. How long does it take? How long does it take to grow that new pathway? 21 days. 21 days to make that pathway solid. How long does it take before you're in automatic? 60. <laughs> 60 days and it's in cement. 60 days and it's in cement. We can rewire our brains. We can rewire our brains right up until the day we die. Praise God for that. What about depression? Depression is not a cause. That defies reason. That defies common sense. That defies basic science. No, no, everything has a cause. So what causes depression? Dr. Neil Nedley in his book, Depression A Way Out, he says, genetics cannot cause depression. Isn't that good news? Yes. Even if both our parents had severe depression, we need never go there. And how many go there? Because they think they're going to go there. The, the, the Proverbs, Proverbs 23 verse 7 says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. We have more control over our thoughts, our emotions, our feelings than we think we do. And remember, they're not a good guide because they go up and down. <laughs> Genetics cannot cause depression. Genetics loads the gun, lifestyle pulls the trigger. He also stated that uh, tragedy cannot cause depression. Isn't that good news? Because every heart has its sorrow. Everyone has suffered. I was talking to a young girl who'd been sexually abused as a child, six to nine years of age. Her mother worked with her. And her mother showed her how to forgive. And this girl conquered the heartache. We talked about forgiveness last night, how it can free you. Freedom, isn't that what someone said? There's that word again, freedom. She's a very successful woman. She's in her late 30s now. She has three children. She's an artist. She's an amazing cook. And a, a friend of hers came in one day and said, Jess, I'm in awe of what you have accomplished in your life. It's hard for me, I was sexually abused. So this girl said to me, I thought it was time to tell my story. <laughs> you see, it's not what has happened to you, it's what you do with it. Mm. Lifestyle tragedy need never cause depression. <clears throat> Dr. Neil Nedley states that there are a whole lot of hits that come through. 
I liken it to a rope. You've got a big strong rope and a strong man cannot break that rope. But a little tiny mouse can come along and start nibbling at the threads and that strong rope can break that the strong man couldn't break.